It's Thursday afternoon. Anna has decided to start selecting the bibliography for her paper on the history of molecular genetics to avoid what happened last time. Here's what happened last time. Alors, euh, j'ai bien reçu votre bibliographie, je vous remercie beaucoup. Euh, ça, attendez, c'est lequel Celui-là, voilà, celui-là, très 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 bon ouvrage, je vous le conseille vraiment. Celui-là est incontournable, ça, il n'y a aucun doute. Et puis encore, voilà, celui-là, excellent, à ne pas manquer. Maintenant, euh, vous me trouvez vraiment des ouvrages en rapport avec le sujet, hein pas cela, en rapport, et on se revoit la semaine prochaine. Et puis là, Anna, at this stage in your research, you've clearly forgotten the basic documentary research principle. Evaluate the pertinence of the documents you've selected. What exactly does pertinent mean? How about you? How do you determine the pertinence of a document when you're doing research for a paper? Systematically evaluate the pertinence of the information for a specific topic by asking the right questions. The field. Does the scientific content cover part or all of my topic? Is the information specific enough for my research? The type of document. What type of document is it? Book, research article, literature review, thesis, etc. What type of information does it provide? Graphs, diagrams, maps, raw data, numbers, statistics, images, commentaries, etc. These criteria will not help you determine the quality of a document, but they will help you ascertain if the information contained is relevant to your needs. Remember, good quality documents are not always pertinent. Vous avez la carte de fidélité Avec les points, vous gagnez un marque-page.